In meeting domestic food needs, the government plans a number of policies, one of which is a plan to import 991,000 tons of sugar this year. The Ministry of Trade sees the imports as government effort in meeting the industry's need for sugar which is still lacking. But on the other hand, the Association of Sugar Cane Farmers denies that there is a surplus of sugar. Minister of Trade Zulkifli Hassan again spoke regarding the plan to import 991,000 tons of sugar in 2023. According to Zul Has, this was done because the country's demand for sugar is quite high. Zulkifli Hassan denied that Indonesia has a sugar surplus. According to him, the supply of the sugar for consumption and industry is not sufficient for domestic needs. Zul Has explained that the sugar consumption in Indonesia is still less than 1 million tons, plus the shortage of sugar for the food and beverage industry as much as 5 million tons. Therefore, the government agreed to import 991,000 sugars this year. So Givli Hassan said that currently Ministry of Industry holds the recommendation for sugar import approval. Meanwhile, his party has supported and carry out orders. Meanwhile, the Indonesian Sugar Cane Farmers Association or APTRI stated that Indonesia still had a sugar surplus of 1.6 million tons. APTRI Chairman Sumitro Samadikun said the sugar import plan could harm local sugar cane farmers. According to APTRI, domestic sugar stocks currently amount to 4.6 million tons. The total sugar consists of 2.4 million tons of domestic production and 2.2 of the remaining imports since 2021. Sumitro said the government could not only look at the stock at PT Perkebunan Nusantara warehouses but also need to check stock at the traders and self-service outlets throughout Indonesia. IDX Channel reports.